Welcome to Quick Star, brought to you by Lucky Dice Cafe out of Huntsville, Alabama. Check them out at luckydicecafe.com. And now for your hosts, Daniel Powell, Jason Alvey, and Tyler Speeds. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Clicks Off Today. This is your host, Daniel Powell, speaking. Just want to let everyone know that Clicks Off is brought to you by Trollandtoad.com. Find Hero Clicks new and old at Trollandtoad.com, the world's largest Hero Clicks retailer. Get 5% off your order with coupon code CLICKSTOFF. Merchant and pre order items do not apply. I uh, just want to let everyone know that. Check out facebook.com forward slash clicks off. We are giving away a brick of Secret Wars Battle World this month, courtesy of trollandtoad.com. Uh, we have an entry up on our Facebook page. Um, comment your favorite indie dial, become a new subscriber to our YouTube channel, Click Stuff, uh, or become one of our patrons, a dollar and above, at patreon.com forward slash click stuff qualifies. $5 and above gets you into our exclusive Discord server and HeroClix classes. Joining me today is Jason Alvey. What's up, guys? And Tyler crit misses five times in one game and still wins Spees. It was actually six. How the hell does that six happen? Times. I don't know, man. I He was giving out LE, like old LE prizes, <laughs> every time you hit a crit miss. And I had like a pile of like 15 of them. And I had crit hit twice on the whole day. <laughs> and Chad makes you take them home, so. There's no way I could win a game if I crit missed six times. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's it was one of those uh, things cool. where you, uh, where you, um, you still win, right? If you just generate enough attacks, then six crit misses don't matter. Yeah, I think I killed two of my Wendigos. That was not cool. Yeah. In that game. But, yeah. This was, it was, it was a fun day. Was everybody wearing respirator masks while they were there? They <laughs> were not. But it was, it was a hot topic of the day. Did uh, those are like uh, hand sanny and wipes all near? No. So how many people were there? Uh, it was 13. It was pretty good for everybody that's listening. It's a win a map in Dayton, Ohio, north of Columbus. There's a lot of people. There's good players. Yeah, north too. of Cincinnati, not Columbus. Yeah, north of Cincinnati. Yeah, I don't. I don't know how to feel about all this now. About going and doing all this with all this going on. Like, oh, there's a confirmed case in Columbus. The first one. So that's the first one confirmed where Origin will be at in three months. I guess Fun what worries fact. me. I guess what worries me is like my daughter and my wife have asthma. Like, right, respiratory you know? stuff. Yeah, so if I were to bring that back with me, that would be like really bad. Right. Yeah. We'll just have to see. Hopefully, it'll it'll blow over. Let's hope. Yeah. Yeah. What a time. So uh, is is Ohio out of toilet paper? I don't know. I bought a bunch. Like. <laughs> Well, I not now. I always buy in bulk, so I have like half a thing of a twenty-four pack left. So I'm good. I, I haven't had to go to the store for it. Um, I haven't heard anybody in my vicinity complaining about not being able to find any. So it's out. It's out here. Yeah, I've yeah. seen where it's out. Um, I think yeah. Scott Crampton did a video on Facebook Live, and it yeah, it was gone. But yeah, I don't know. People need it, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I don't get it. I mean, I, so I get it, right? So, uh, I mean, I do and I don't, right? I don't get the folks that are, like, buying, like, 100 rolls of it. Yeah. Um, to some extent. But mm-hmm. here's the logic behind it that I've I've read a couple articles about it, and it makes sense. Um, welcome to Cook Stuff Podcast about coronavirus. <laughs> um, but I think it's interesting is that if I go buy 100 rolls of toilet paper tomorrow – and nothing happens. You don't. I'll still any. use a. I'll still use a hundred rolls of toilet paper this year. Right. Yeah. yeah. And I'll still I'll still use fifteen rolls of Lysol wipes or whatever. And 
Yeah. I'll still use hand sanitizer over the course of a year. Right. Yeah, it's That's, not it's um, not wasted money. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah it so, doesn't have but, any bad but, effect to you. The bad effect would be to like people who can't get it. Then that's the that would be the issue. Right. Yeah. Well, the issue is, is that, I mean, so, but the flip side of that is, is that if something bad does happen and we're all quarantined for, you know, fourteen days is like the minimum, right? But what happens if it goes to twenty-eight or more? Then you'll need the toilet paper then. Yeah. True. true. You know. So. Uh, I mean, it, it makes sense. Um, the bottled water always makes, you know, it. the bottled water makes sense. And, you know, you should be at least prepped to have, like, at all times, like, at least five days worth of stuff at your house. I just have a Brita filter, so I'm good on that. And then I have cases yeah, of it Soylent. It won't take it. <laughs> Brita filter won't take it out if the water no longer pumps. I feel like, um, I feel like it, if, it, if they shut off the water, then we're at, like, a catastrophic level well so it's not as so much just coronavirus but just in general right you can your, your area could lose power you know america's infrastructure is way weaker than you think it is i don't uh, could i not drink water and just drink soylent because there's it's liquid what, what is what is actually what, what is soylent? What, what are you calling that soylent that's it's a it's, a it's like a meal replacement thing where the fuck are you buying this at the Army Depot? Online, <laughs> pretty good. They just came out with mint, uh, chocolate flavored. What? Wait a minute. Soyant, I thought soyant, soyant green is people. Yes. Yeah, I thought you were making a movie yes. reference. Like, no, I'm not. There's a there's a enter, there's a there's not an enter, it's a it's a meal replacement and it's called Soylent, and it's got each one has 400 calories and then 20 percent of your date all like literally all of the vitamins and minerals you need, so you can just drink. Wait five. a minute. Don't did these people not realize what the heck they're? That's the joke. It's the joke. <laughs> that this so this is, is like a so this is like a shaker, like a liquid thing. It's like yeah, it's just like I buy it in bottles. You can do like um, powders, but it gets weird when you mix it. I've heard so. But yeah. Oh. Okay. We should talk about Euroclix probably. Oh, well, this yeah, is way more interesting. <laughs> apparently, this yeah, is I mean, this is Doomsday Preppers edition of Clicks Off. Yeah, just buy a bunch yeah, of soiling, mean, guys. It's definitely relevant because, I mean, it does affect a lot of our plans for the next three months, right? Mm-hmm. It does. Um, Man, if it cancels Origins, that's going to be so sad. Oh, I'll yeah. be so upset. I mean, well, I, I, don't, I was all set to go to this regional in Lexington, and now I'm like, kind of, do I need to rethink that's this? Something. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so what I was going to say is that the regional in Lexington is March 28th, and I mean, they're still planning on keeping it going. But what I will say is that for those of you that are considering going, um, I will be bringing a tube. I already got a tube of wipes and uh, some things of hand sanitizer set aside. Um, so, you know, we can uh, definitely... Be prepared. Uh, wipe everything down when we get there, and you know I've got a thing of some uh, you know antibacterial soap that I'll be glad to donate. And some... I don't even know how much does that matter. I I actually don't know. I heard that it was airborne. Am I wrong on that? <clears throat> it yes. is airborne, but it can live on stuff for a while apparently, and then yeah, two, to, alcohol, two to three days. Yeah. Yeah, the alcohol stuff breaks it down, so. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Uh, I thought I was. Yeah, Randy was there, and they said that. I mean, as far as like right now, they're still doing it. And then Howard said that states is still on as of now, and they'll reevaluate on the 23rd. I think he said Monday. Yeah. So so far, things are still going. I'll just have to wait and see and yeah. hope. Yeah. So the main part of today's show, I want to talk a little bit about uh, theme. And then I really want to, and I want to talk about, we want to talk about JLU, and then we're going to talk about retirement. Oh boy. Um, so let's talk about theme. So I've, there's a wide variety of arguments between the current state of meta, post JLU meta, and then post retirement meta. Of does theme does theme matter? Should you play theme? And at what number of theme? 
does it matter? So my general answer is always is Steam is a trap. Unless the unless the team works together. So I'll talk mm-hmm. about I want to talk about why Uni is a plus five versus non theme. So the reason Uni is a plus five and not unthemed is I like to play Unimine and Lockjaw together. Thankfully they share a keyword together. Mm-hmm. Okay. And Remaker Ring makes sense. It doesn't have anything to do with theme, but um, so I need a way to first turn equip without using Lockjaw's TK because of Sheriff Strange, uh, Kobic, uh, and then just general in cap issues. You just don't roll six, basically. Right. So I need a way to be able to do that without worrying about a six. Mm-hmm. So that generally means I need a character with sidestep and enough movement though that can ignore terrain and has enough movement to get the remaker ring so there's options like fast forces giant girl carnage uh dark phoenix um another random tker right uh lieutenant kyle yep yes you know Mm -hmm. yeah it's lieutenant kyle so there's a lot of those options like so, carnage would work, but blocking maps can slow carnage enough to where he can't do it. Um, you know, depending on what kind of map it is, I think maybe ancient hold would stop him enough, um, because he can't sidestep fully back into the starting area. Um, I'd have to look at the map again. Sure. Um. But just in general, right, so like with Ancient Hold being a thing, I have to be able to walk all the way out and back and then stop at the starting area and then sidestep into the starting area fully. Mm -hmm. Um, So that's why I play Skyscraper Wonder Woman. She breaks blocking and then she just has enough movement in general to move out and move back. So Ancient Hold equipping is not a problem. Um, or even getting around, um, say, Tyler Seals that he plays. Mm-hmm. Unless my equipper had phasing, it's a, there's a potential that I can't get a standard character beside it, and a regular TKer could get blocked by it, potentially. You should use Vulture as your equipper. Ignores characters. Right. Yeah, it's <laughs> running quick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, but but well, hold on. Well, to be fair, that's an option, right? So I that guess. fits within that fits within 300 points, right? Yeah. Um. So, skyscraper Wonder Woman fits. So it gets me up to three IDs. So now, it comes down to the last two floras. So the floor, I need five IDs, right? I've often find that I need five IDs before I can start attacking with Uni fully. So the two floors could become two carnages. But floras heal. Uh-huh. Right? So it's just right. really a fortunate a fortunate synergy that floras can heal and floras can then start attacking. So I get two secondary attackers that at worst case have an 18 defense and require two damage or one damage side blast to kill. Um, if I can get on water, they start healing twice. They sidestep, move my team around. Um, and if they he, I mean, when they heal, they sidestep, move my team around and just don't die because carnage cannot take two actions, right? So long as I heal, a flora can take two actions without dying. Uh, yeah. Without dying. Same thing again with Flash Fortress, Giant Girl. Now, a real big, uh, the big giant girl, the main set one, doesn't have sidestep, so that's not quite useful enough. So, you know, I just don't theme Uni because to win map. Um, although I did finally beat Tyler for map in the first time in two years, and it felt really fantastic. Yeah. Um, um. <laughs> so, 
in short, that's that's why I play Cosmic Theme. Now, I would say, Tyler, uh, give you a minute. You play Theme a lot because your team works together and you want to try to win maps. So you go from a 5 to a 9. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's... I mean, there's probably um, characters, like... I would experiment with a lot of stuff if I if I didn't care about theme, right? I could do like Kobik as my call-in character or something like that. But um, my team wants to go up on tempo. It's more so the tempo than the map. I feel like um, I want to be able to move first with my team because it it, it it the goal is to put the other person behind on tempo so much that they get overwhelmed. And if they if they get a turn to you know free equip and I'm a full map away from them. And then they get another setup turn. It's just really bad for me. So I don't like if like keywords were all of a sudden removed from the game. I don't think my team is optimal like yours. So I, I am playing it for the for the theme to an extent. Right. And, it, you, and so that's interesting that it's more of tempo than map for you. Mm-hmm. Because going second is not too good for you usually. Yeah, because. I mean, that's just it. I, I want to be aggressive, and I want them to, um, you know, have to decide to what to do. Like, on turn on their turn one, I want them to have to make a tough choice between dealing with the things that's already in their faces or equipping, you know? Right. If they get a, if they get a free setup turn, it's just, it, it, it loses too much. Sure. No, that makes sense. Um, so... Man, I don't want to go post-retirement discussion too much here. Just mainly talking about theme. But we could see a bunch of theme come out of JLU. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Mainly Justice the, uh, League. Yeah. yeah. Well, Justice League and Mix- Mystical with Dr. Mystical. Fate, right? Sure. Yeah, those two. Yeah. Um, Scientists, maybe. So, mm-hmm. There's a lot of good scientists. Yeah. Yeah, and Batman. <laughs> and Batman. And police. Batman wants police. Police, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, Dr. Fate has paid, passed Mystical Justice Society, Justice League, Future. Um, uh, heaven, forbid if I, heaven forbid if I played Golden Age. Oh, yeah, there's a ton of good past characters, like Ameridroid. Um, yeah. That's it's a, nuts. Wait, Ameritroid retired, right? Yeah. yeah, I know, but I, if you just mean just modern, I'm saying I don't, yeah. I'm glad I don't play Golden Age. Well, yeah, because uh, there's a ton of good past figures. Yeah, there's a ton of good past characters. Um, Nick Fury, for instance. Yeah, my man. Yeah, your man. Uh, yeah, Nick Fury just having a constant 1,800 damage from all the enhancements. Would you be Duh. more sad? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Would you be more sad with Unimon retiring, or were you more sad when Nick Fury retired? Um, so I'm probably more sad that the Supreme Intelligence retired. Wow. Okay. Mm. That's um. Because if I could have had the Supreme Intelligence today, um, I think, like, in just a vacuum, right? Like, if everything else retired and I just had the Supreme Intelligence and I could have Uni sitting on a constant shape change, super senses, and probability control. Sure. uh, (laughs) that That would be a lot more preferable. Preferable, I should say. Mm hmm. Um, you know, it's one of those things. It's like, I am sad that Uni's going to retire. Um, but I've just got a lot of practice with him. Yeah. He's, he's just, he's just been my man for a long time. Fair. Um, I mean, I know what that feels like. So, um, so retirement is going to happen. After (laughs) national. It's yeah. going to be a whole new world in it more is. ways than one. <laughs> so, I, I tell you, limit. I'll, the big thing is ID cards are going away. Yep, all yep. of them. Uh, so, some people have asked me, like, what are your feelings about it? And I would say this. 
my my feelings are pretty much irrelevant in the matter because no matter how I feel, they're going away. Sure. Um, <laughs> so I I think we're going to have to learn how to deal with retail. We've never had to deal with retail without ID cards. Yes, that's true. Yeah. Um, what what all did they retire early? Maybe they retired the Blackbird the Black the and the all Black the IDs. Bird and the mm-hmm. IDs, that's it. These. Oh, the the DC cons? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. That's not super crazy. I um, mean they retired those like all super early. Well, as a year. Yeah. Later. Well they were still giving them out as prizes last uh, origins, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, was that rings? Was last origins rings? Last origins was rings. Okay. Yeah, but they were giving them out as. You could uh, buy them for pri- window maps and stuff. Yeah, uh, all the way year. up until origins. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, and I would say in a pleasant surprise, Skeets is gets to stay. That's right. <laughs> yeah. I love Skeets, man. So. And um, we have a legal booster gold. Yes, we do. So he gets to use his his um his speed power gives him plus two attack value. Let's I don't see. think that matters, but <laughs> it's the yeah. I mean, I'll get him up from a, a ten attack. That's right. To a tw- I mean twelve attack is pretty good. With perplex, his perplex and prob. I actually have to look. So yeah. We're not quite to that point yet. <laughs> uh, but, um, so, you know, I mean, here's the thing. My my thought is, so for those that don't know, I, I work in engineering, right? I'm, I work in a telecom engineering department. So things are generally pretty rigid. Um, and things are generally pretty consistent day in and day out as far as how things work. My issue with it in general is that WizKids doesn't publish how long convention exclusives should stay legal. Um, And they don't stay, they don't hold to it. Um, So that makes me have a doubt in the value of the product that I'm buying. Um, Now, am I still going to buy it? Yeah, I mean, I have to, right? I mean, because I, I, I'm just not going to not buy the next Blackbird IDs. But I'm going to be anything that's something that's really good. I'm always going to doubt, am I going to get my full value out of this product that I'm buying? Because convention exclusives are supposed to be legal for three years. Well, yeah. They, yeah. Or didn't they used to be legal for four years at a time? They went from four down to three. Yeah. Yes. Um, they retired I, whole sets early too. Look at Web Spider Man. Mm-hmm. I don't have Not an just... issue with it. I like that. I don't think just because. I mean, it, from two years to three, I I don't look at it like if I spend fifty dollars, right? That's twenty five dollars a year of value or thirty. What? How much is like sixteen point six seven percent? So sixteen point six seven dollars a year, but now it's went up to twenty five dollars a year, right? So I've added seven dollar what, what nine dollars a year. Like I, I don't, I don't think that's depends. A, are you are you looking at it from a value proposition or a percentage proposition? I don't. It just <laughs> I think it's irrelevant. Depend, I don't think it depends on how you do your value analysis. Sure, 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 sure. But I I don't think I don't I don't know that anybody makes purchases like that. Um. So I, I, I just don't – I don't think that argument holds much water because yeah. either – if they, if they told you it would be retiring in two years or retiring in three years, I don't think that that would change anybody's um, anybody's idea of buying it or not. Yeah, I don't think it changed their I, choice. That probably does. I think it would. I don't think anybody I... – buys a normal hero click and be like, well, this is only going to be legal for two years, so I don't really want to buy it. You know? I, didn't, well, I don't there, think... There are, people, there are people that wait until things go golden age before they buy them. 
because well, they can get them at such a huh this helps those people <laughs> right yeah so those people that says well if i'm going to have to wait there might so there's a contingent of people that are like well if i have to wait three years i might just go ahead and pick it up year two or year one instead of just waiting until the full three yeah i just, I just think it's so minute i don't think that it's an issue Yeah, i mean it's probably fine now on the other yeah. hand there is a lot of folks that are now sitting on extra blackbirds right because they bought mm. that product from whiz kids as you know win maps or um you know conventions or whatever uh surplus and now they'll they now they won't be able to sell them yeah that's, so that's, I, true. If, that's fair. so if they offered blackbirds for sale you know over christmas you're like well i'll buy some up they're going to have another year of value and now you're sitting on 10, 15 Blackbirds that you can't sell because the, the IDs are going away. And the Blackbird itself, right? It was good. It won a Nationals. Yeah. Did no, it? It would, yeah, PJ won with Blackbird. I Maybe honestly nationals. did not even know. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Okay. I yeah. forgot that was a country. My but, bad. But they're not. <laughs> <laughs> but WizKids is not going to make those decisions based off the secondary market. They don't care. Yeah. yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't mind it for that aspect anyway. Yeah, I mean, so at the end of the day, like those are my feelings, but I would just sum it up with saying, honestly, I really don't care because we're not going to change their opinion. They're not going to roll back the decision because of us. So prepare to get retailed on. We're not obviously we're not gonna. Yeah, I agree with all that. Um, we're not gonna change it. Um. But do you, how much do you think that it was the players like being vocal about ID cards that made them do it? Yeah, I think it probably played into it. I do, I do too, because a lot of people don't like ID cards. But I think almost, more people are happy about it than not happy about it. Yeah. Well, so here's the thing, Except and here's for, my issue with here's here's my issue with that complaint, and I do I do take issue with that complaint. What about IDs? Yes. Okay. Because I've I've already seen multiple posts of well now they're not going to have their uh, their uh, their uh, crutch to go crutches back on. obviously anybody who says that is an idiot right now I wouldn't we can't call them idiots Tyler we're not I those kind of do. people <laughs> all right so and I, so guys I, I just want for any of those that are listening that don't like ID cards I can tell you what like just. Speaking from me, Tyler, and Jason that play competitive events quite a bit, and uh, we're not going to get any worse at playing because ID cards go away. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, to reiterate, like, I'm not – if you don't like ID cards, that's not what I'm saying. Like, you're not an idiot. There's valid reasons not to – I actually don't like ID cards as a concept. I'm kind of happy they're going to retire. But if anybody says that – Oh, you're just playing ID cards because it's a crutch. Like, no, they're like <laughs> you're playing them because they're good. But you would play any piece because they're good. Like, right. yeah. Anything and then ID can. cards, ID cards suddenly going away. It's not gonna make you not it, good. Is is gonna make some well, is gonna make suddenly make somebody better. Right. Yeah, I agree. With yeah. That. Did both of you guys start playing before ID cards? I I, started, I did. I started. And playing again at Deadpool. Not competitive, but I definitely played yeah. it. Before. I started again at Deadpool. So I was playing local OP events throughout um, Guardians of the Galaxy and Flash. Yeah. Um, Flash was a fun and, set. I forgot about and that. And then Trinity oh. War. And then Avengers Assemble is when I started playing competitively. And then ID cards came out. So you guys have never played in like an, a world where resources or IDs didn't exist? Not well, resources or ID. Well, I played yeah. when I was thirteen. When I mean, well, we did we did play Rock Limited when it was a thing. Yeah, that was I just mean in general, like yeah. Well, not seriously, no. Yeah. Yeah. Played with feet cards. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, so it's one of those things. Like it's going to go back to that, Jason, and. So yeah, it might go back to feet cards, something like that. I guess, I guess objects are kind of no, no. I'm not talking about now. feet like, cards. I mean objects are fine, right? So no, I like you it, know, but, but, yeah. Like, 
Um, you're just going to go back to what? What are you saying? Like, Well, I want to go back and look at um, uh, what did Scott, Scott won uh, Wizard World, right? Yeah. Probably. Um, I'm, I'm just trying to find the realm. I'm trying to find the realms thread here uh, that shows all of the builds. Yeah, that shows all the builds. Yeah, I'm gonna try to find that real quick. You can go back. I've went back and watched a lot of the world champion videos. That a lot of them are up on the Majestics page, and like I know that people like t- like oh before IDs the game was so pure and stuff. To me, honestly. And I'm sorry, to, it makes it really bad. It looks so boring to me. It's like right. you one guy has two figures on the board and that's it. The other guy has three figures on the board and that's it. You know, one carries up, then one shoots. You might perplex defense. It just it. People always talking about oh. oh well, I'm not board. saying it's better. That's not. Yeah, what I'm, I'm not, and I'm not saying you're not. I'm just I'm just sort of like to like I've heard that you know oh we're going back to where you know positioning actually matters and the board state matt and blah positioning like, just, always matters yeah <laughs> it, it just honestly just looks so boring to me when i when i see some like, of those older worlds like, I, I, feel like the, I feel like i feel like i feel like the battery era was the golden age of hero clicks if you ask me yeah that's a fair opinion so so let's just take a look at some of our some of the so i'm just going to start with like scott's win in 2007 at wizard world so he played Joker with Protected, so he couldn't be outwitted. Armor Piercing, so he had Penetrating Poison. Well, this is the and Lamp. Lock- yes. Yeah, this is the Lamp oh, team, okay, okay. right? So the modern-day equivalent would be Don't Die. Which is which so, Joker is it? This is the Killing Joke Joker uh, that has the... Uh, from the Icons. Icons, yeah. Icons, okay. I think it's the costume he is, yeah. Oh, uh, the tourist uh, one. I had this guy. Right. So, so you had that situation. You have this guy, right? So don't die. And then, so you go to George's win, um, where it's Man of Steel with protected, so he can't be outwitted. I think that's right, Jason. Right? Protected was no like protected outwitted. is the one where you sh- no protected is where you shrug off one uh, hit, okay. hit one hit. You're thinking of fortitude. Yeah, protected. Right. Okay, you, you so, got an action token for it, right? Yes, instead of taking the hit, yeah. Okay, I yeah, got you're you. Thinking, you're, so, you're thinking of fortitude. Yeah. Right. Well, so uh, a a big tent pole that can take a hit. So you're looking at you know your Black Panther, um, uh, your Regent, right? Your Witch Queen Lafay. Um. Silver so Surfer. The, not Silver Surfer. Okay. Um, your 150 um, Ultron. <laughs> like yeah, your 150 Ultron, your Thors, that sort of thing, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. So it still comes down to these pieces still have to be good. You still have to be able to position those pieces, but it just comes down to, well, you couldn't hit me enough times in 45 minutes. Mm-hmm. I mean, ID cards help me hit you harder. True. So that I can help wipe your team. So, you know, I don't know. So Do they here's, help um, you hit harder, actually? No, they, help depends, per- yeah, but, they help They help somebody that can't hit hard hit harder. So more people right. can hit harder. Yeah. yeah, I guess they kind of shore up some weaknesses in your in your lineup. Right. But, yeah, I don't know if they sure. help you, your main force hit harder. Well, no, I mean, will they help me as a player hit your team harder? So what I'm like trying if to you say. hit with uni, you're going to hit harder. Yeah, you just don't want to hit with uni at all because you don't want you to take the damage back. That's the right. thing. Right, because yeah. I don't want to take a retail, right? So you're retail, right. retail, like, you just talk about, like, all of these teams that I just talked about that they won with. Mm-hmm. Now, given stats would change, okay? Right. But you put a Groot and a Surter against one of these teams, guess what? Groot and Surter's going to wreck every single one of them. Right. We're not Except maybe Groot for the ones that protected. Right. Protected would be a big deterrent. So, 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 I'm just, so, I'm just so talking about from rules, a, What retaliator rules in the new no-ID card world? So, there's several. Dark Phoenix. Uh, so, let's, let's start out from... Um, 
from lightest to darkest. Maybe what do you mean darkest. Like uh, most obtrusive. Most uh, uh most deadly. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um I think Dark Phoenix and Tri Sentinel are like god tier. They're above everybody yeah. else. Except whenever you combined sixteen Oh god um Friends of Humanity. Here it is. <laughs> oh Lord. With Vulture and Mortal Hulk and three orange Proteuses, and you take them to Ancient Hold. <laughs> yeah, okay. Now, you can't take a tri to Ancient Hold, but so you take them outdoors, and um, Vulture just eats that team. No, it, um, yeah. Wait, which team? The tri and Dark Phoenix together. Not on that build, because he doesn't have any perplexes, right? No, he doesn't. Or TK. <laughs> Or so, or you take off Immortal Hulk and add the new, um, who's the guy that we previewed, Mongol, Mongol. and then it becomes a name three name name, name theme, theme team. team. It's actually kind of cool. Uh, brute brute theme team. So I was gonna start out with lightest, um, and just say like Magneto's probably down there on the lightest they end of the retail. To actually, get retailed? You mean? Yeah, that you're afraid to get retailed on, and they're the most obtrusive. Um, yeah. Well, you're talking I like mean, 25 point Magneto there. Right? Yeah, 25 point Magneto. Magneto can um, be obtrusive in other ways, just not as a retail. Right. Um, and then you've got like the Prime Colossus. <sighs> he's kind of cool. Yeah, he's pretty cool, but he's not too bad. Phoenix isn't uh, super bad. Blue Phoenix, yeah. Blue Phoenix can be um, nothing. Right, it's possible that it does, yeah. does nothing. Yeah. Um, the Proteus uh, doesn't deal damage. Which one? The Green the one? rare one does not deal damage. Right. But he is good in that one he can heal. Mm-hmm. Um, two, if you have him mobile. In, a, in an era where ID cards don't, you can't just be like, well, I'll just call out an ID. Yeah. That's what you're stuck. Yeah. That is a big deal. Um, now, he does make a close attack. Now, his damage value is zero. Mm-hmm. But there's no reason you can't empower that up or perplex that up to a three. Oh, uh, okay. So he can do damage. Uh, yeah, he can. Right. Yeah. Um, and he would deal if you give him three, he would give all other opposing characters in three squares and a line of fire three damage. Yeah. Um, and then I think you really turn into god tier of Orange Proteus, Dark Phoenix, and Tri Sentinel on the Ancient Hold Me. Um, you're forgetting a couple. You got Storm, mm-hmm. Prime, Ice Man, Ice Man, right? Krakoa. Man, so. I guess we can say Krakoa is actually the lightest of light. Um, Storm, Storm's okay. I think Storm's right there with Magneto. Um, she doesn't. Um, she doesn't. She her close attack. You have to be adjacent, so that, that's what makes her terrible. Is it a close? Uh, I thought it was a range. Yeah. Make a close attack. Oh. Yeah. So like, where does Iceman go now? Like, you can't call him out off that ID card to just wipe all the retaliators. If there is an X Men team, he'll be on it. Yeah. Yeah, I think you maybe play four or five of him on an I- on an X Men team. It's possible. I don't know. There's, nobody knows anything. <laughs> right, but then you got to play him at a hundred, or he can't yeah. get the Wendigos. Right. Yeah, that's kind of gone, but. I think Wendigo gets a lot better after retirement. Oh, a yeah, lot better. Sure. For but sure. what about but what about Batman? Oh yeah. I'm no we're not talking about Batman. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. I refuse to talk about him until we see his dial. Is it isn't Batman here to save us all from retaliation? <laughs> I am assuming that he has two stop or two two activation clicks. That is my assumption until I see the dial. <laughs> all right. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we don't know. 
Um, we don't know yet. So this is kind of talking about JLU without knowing all the details. But And we did get a question about the retails, too. Uh, I want to say who asked me to have, who asked us oh. that. Do you guys think uh, that Eugene Torbett Wither, Witterspan gets better after retirement? No. Uh, he uh, does, but Alex, mobile, right? Alex, uh, Alex oh, Smith only asked be us about retail. Two actions, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what it is. There you go. Okay, what do you say about retail? Uh, I was going to say Alex Smith. Thanks for asking that question. We got, also got one from Brian Poland oh, because it's about retail. it. Tyler, you know Eugene's uh, a scientist, right? That's right. And a brute. Oh, yeah, and a brute. fits on your team. <laughs> you know what? That is exactly why I have five Eugenes, because he was not that good, but now he could be. I mean, he, 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 25 points for 10 for 3 charge. Not bad. Doesn't count against team teams. Boom. Yeah. All that perplexing that scientist team, he gets pretty nasty. <laughs> or he can just go on the brute theme team. And make it a plus twenty five. Yeah. Yeah. I I don't know if that team's actually good, but if Adam's thinking about it, it's got to be at least serviceable. I don't know if that's true. Adam thinks some weird stuff (laughs) sometimes, just to see (laughs) if it'll work. Like if you between sixteen of them, you can totally get enough of them on empower to make a difference. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. On like two to three on average. It's not, I mean, three in powers is nothing to sneeze at. I'm probably like ten of those, ten short of those to make that team. So <laughs> guess I better get some other cheat. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> it's obviously the next meta piece. Yep. <laughs> it is. I I don't know. It is. Let me say this. I will say this. It is fantastic fluff for brute and sentinel. That is true. Yep. Is it? It's probably the cheapest named. Piece ever? Um, doesn't henchman have magia or not? Oh, but it doesn't count for or against. Does yeah, it? it doesn't. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Okay. Now, I mean, I might be wrong on that, but I think it's the cheapest named theme piece ever. Well, it's what five. So, yeah, yeah. Five. Well, I mean, it depends. Like, in I don't know. Now, Moloid was the cheapest, right? Rookie Molin, he was six. Points. But the there was humanity's no, five. Yeah, right, humanity's that's five. what I'm saying. And so back then, the keywords right. didn't get used. So. Yeah, but they got a rat Yeah, but then that was way past like time to even worry about that. It's Moloid's keywords. One second. What set nope, is that from? Like? monster. Critical mass. Fanta- man. Fantastic. Okay, well, that is nobody cared about keywords <laughs> then. There weren't any. I bought like, one of these for six cents once. <laughs> Because it was at a store and rookie and rookie uh, generics costed what their point value was. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I bought it for six cents because it was the cheapest figure in this in the game. That just blows my mind. That's a random ass story. <laughs> <sighs> so. It's a random ass way to price stuff. That's <laughs> true. It's consistent. Yeah, I bought it from. I think that guy still plays. He's the judge in Lima, Ohio. I feel like he still does. Mm. So, you know, so like the brute team, and there's just all this crazy stuff, right? So, retail is still a thing, right? Like, so you go back to all these winners that we were talking about. If they get retailed on, well, their piece starts to just go down the crapper, right? Yeah. Like, like, like if if my really great attacker team gets punched in the face for free from across the map, like you just think about like the old school like TK yo yo team. Yeah, that won't. Well, work. guess what? If you TK yo yo back and then Proteus comes over and hits you thirteen for six. Yeah, right. So basically, you're saying like people are happy that IDs are going away because they didn't like that they fundamentally changed the way the game's played, but. Retails still do that, and they're still here, so it's still not yes. people's idea of like pure hero clicks or whatever they yeah, want. It's not. Say. You still you still got to deal with all the retail first. Mm-hmm. You have to kill them first. So it's sort that's of a, not just your team against my team. Right. Yeah. So there's that's a fantastic way to put it. Retail makes it to where it's still not 
pure hero clicks, pure superhero battles. Mm -hmm. Because there's a game warping mechanic of teleporting across the map and punching you in the face. Right. (laughs) And and you would say, well, and you got to think that we're now going to be left with, um, so like Carnage, uh, Carnage, Surtur just had toughness. Mm-hmm. That's right? true. I see. Scott Schaefer, Wonder Woman. Guess what we're left with now? Proteus, Shape Change, Dark Phoenix, Impervious. Proteus, Super uh, Senses. Super Proteus, senses. Super Senses. That heals. Mm-hmm. It's not as easy as a. And we're getting rid of Storm ID, um, Professor X ID, all the things that we used to deal with them before. Tank. Right, tank. That's a big one. Yeah. yeah so, got to um, main force that pulse wave if you want it now. Right. Um. So, you have to play your team a specific way to combat retail now. Guess what? We were just saying before. You have to play your team a certain way so Cyclops doesn't six you. It's still the same thing, just a different day until retail's gone. I agree. I don't. I don't think I have never liked IDs, um, just because of the way that they change the game. You're not playing with the figures on your force. I don't think retails are as bad as IDs were, um, but they do still affect it in a way that will obviously shape almost every mm-hmm. game you play. Right. So, yeah. Like, but I think you said it correctly, right? Like, to me, I don't care, right? Like, I'll deal with it. I'll play whatever's good to combat a Proteus punching me in the face. Um, just the same way that I played a team that a Cyclops couldn't six me to death. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, you're right. So for all these people that are worried about hero clicks being pure or a superhero battle, you you don't get your wish for another year. And who knows what comes out between now and then. So yeah, my my joke of the day of that, I guess, is um, between – so the, the, the game that will take the longest to get set up will be Adam Friedman placing his 21 Brutes versus Scott Crampton cycling through his 77 team-up cards uh, <laughs> for his team. To determine which ten he's going to play that game. All right, man, fun times. <laughs> if Scott Crampton plays a JLU theme team with team up cards, I'll be super surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I um, man. So I, I am super happy that they like. I was I was honestly dreading retirement because I'm going to lose like my whole team. Basically, I've been playing for two years. Um. But this, I'm not, I'm not as, I'm actually looking forward to it now because basically, like, I had to start from scratch and on it, and now pretty much everybody has to start from scratch. Everything is open again. You have to look at figures mm-hmm. that we haven't been looking at. Um, I think it's a really good way to freshen the meta, and it, it's possible that um, it's. It, it ends up being bad. It's possible that it, it ends up being stale and there's only like three or four teams. That's possible. Yeah. Um, but it could it could open it up. Um, I know there are some naysayers. Um, maybe one that uh, has been vocal about it, whose name is two letters and ends with J and is not KJ Foster or TJ I mean, Wheeler PJ, or TJ right? Riggin. So, <laughs> yeah. Right. I mean, it is, it's true that if they don't fix the tri sentinel mechanic, your your plus kajillion mystical theme team that walks up and just blows up all of your retails and friends of humanity could just be a thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't think people realize how a huge theme team with the big characters means that your vulture is not going to get in the room to flurry them. Mm-hmm. That it's highly unlikely. So, I don't know. I'd have to look at it. I, I, mean, I assume you're right. I just I haven't looked at that map at all. Right. I mean, it's you certainly should. Yes, I agree. With um, that. 
So if you can place enough characters to fill up a room, mm-hmm. you know, Vulture can't get in there unless somebody blows up a wall first. First, yeah. And that's hard and to then, do on that map. And then, yeah, and then given the approach angles, you're not going to be able to TK Vulture out. Um, TK Vulture out, blow up the wall, flurry with Vulture, blah, blah, blah. Um, Does the WWE ring make any difference on that map? No, because you can just go to the other side of the map and do the same thing. It, it can't cover up enough. There's enough or open up for you enough. to hide in. Yeah. Mm. So, I mean, that that's just what's really super obtrusive about this stuff. The thing that I'm kind of looking at, and I, I just, nobody knows, basically. Like, that's my whole thing. I'm actually looking at a lot of pieces that have Pulse Wave, because we're losing the ability to call in Pulse Wave. So that's, I've been looking at things like that. Um, just to, you know, just because if you want Pulse Wave, you have to have it. And there's a lot of times where you need Pulse Wave. Um, so it just it's making me go back and look through all the characters, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm not a sky is falling toward a sort of guy, mm-hmm. right? Like, I'll play whatever WizKids puts out. I love HeroClix. I'm not going to stop loving HeroClix because I don't have ID cards anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, I might kind of giggle whenever someone sets across from 10 orange Proteuses and there's 10 <laughs> squares of, 20 squares of barrier every turn. <laughs> um, you know, I think the, possi- the real possibility of teams going 0-0 and um, losing um, losing that away in Swiss is a definite possibility. Do you think zero zero is more likely? Yeah, because between the map selection that we currently have and the amount of barrier that you can use, it's harder to uh, deal with that ID cards. Yeah. Now, those people, you know, those there's there's a so there's people that used to play teams that would go to a roll off. That they were designed to be okay with going to a roll off. Mm-hmm. Those same people could just play a barrier team with a high enough theme that if they win map, they just go, "Here's my setup. Here's how I'm alternating my tokens. Deal with me, and we'll go zero zero, or you come over and let me kill one of your pieces." And then he tries a barrier, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's always been teams like that, like one man armies, but ID, basically but, like that. Yeah, I mean, but one man armies could at least get a last minute KO, um, you know, especially after the rules changed. Um, you know, they often had access to mind control as well. Um, so I mean, that that's really my issue with with some of this stuff. I mean, a barrier team can just keep you locked out of the game. I mean, without a Cyclops to at least try to deal with it. Um, Because, I mean, at least, you know, a double deep, you could shoot one out and then Cyclops through the next one to get to someone. Right. Unless you've got, and now you're going to tap, tap, tap. Now you need three taps to do it. Yeah. I mean, there might, maybe, we might just have to text something in. Which is a lot harder to text something in now if you don't have ideas to do it, right? You're not paying three points for a tech piece; you're paying thirty or whatever it costs. Yeah, whatever it is. Mm-hmm. I don't know. So let's just kind of review a minute of what's retiring. Um, so TM Elseworlds is the oldest set that's retiring, and I totally closed the tab with the thing on there. Um, so Elseworlds TMT. Uh, Harley Quinn? No. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Harley Quinn retires. Yeah, Harley and the Gotham Girls, yeah. Harley Quinn retires, Star Trek, the original that. series, um, X-Men, Xavier School, and Avengers Infinity. Um, Microsets Undead retires, so you lose Dr. Frankenstein. Rip. Do we have any Ninja uh, Turtles stuff still in? No, no not after this. No. Dang, uh, that's crazy. That is, there is no modern... Turtles. Joe. I wonder if they P. just gave up on that. Joe Pingrazio is very sad about that. Yeah, that's, that is sad. I uh, agree. Now, I am slightly perturbed in the same way I am about the Blackbird. Uh-huh. About now, Turtles? T- turtles. Turtles did come out in June, but they came oh, out at the end of the weird one. 
like it's one of the weird ones um, where it came out before the end of June, so it came out after Nationals. So it really only got uh, eight. It didn't. It didn't get its full time. It didn't get to soak. It so it got. It got two worlds, but only one nationals, right? Uh, so it missed out on uh, eighteen, and it only got nineteen, right? Yeah, but it got two worlds, which is how they. Yeah, that used to be how they do it, but then they moved worlds, so now it's all weird. Yeah, so I mean, I, I get it that it technically got it right, and I guess I should be okay with that. Mm-hmm. But it feels like it just got shorted. It it, feels in, that, that's one that feels in my heart. It did, right? Like and, if uh, like if I'm if I'm against ID cards because of the technicality, I'm against turtles because of my heart. The principle, um, not even the principle, just how you feel, which is fine. We we this is a safe space, Dan. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it, it did get shorted, and the, it just happens. Like there are, like Elseworlds and Thor are the two that I can think of that got longer than they, not that they should have, but that then other sets got. Yeah, so in the yeah. same vein, Elseworlds probably should have been cut off with What If. Right, there was some issues yeah. with that people when they announced right. that. Now, Mighty Thor is just going to get the same thing as Batman. It's just going to have a really long time in modern. Right. Yeah, and it is. And the, it just happens. Because they don't, they don't... I don't know if Magic does this, but do the, is there a game where the, it just retires? I don't know if you guys don't know. It retires on the date that it was released? That seems like it makes sense. Mm, I don't know if it does that. I don't know I don't how know. Magic does that. that. I mean, that would actually make a lot of sense. Like, mm-hmm. it, the things just constantly retire. Mm-hmm. Like Thor would have retired August of last year. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if that would be better or worse, but it'll at least be consistent. Ah, you know what? I like that, Tyler. Yeah. Like they said on an official, it becomes modern date, and then you know, two years for sets and three years from cons. That's when that, they go. That's when they go. Yeah. So that would still mean that, like AI. Go, you know that would. I, I'm liking this. I like that suggestion, Tyler. Well, thank you. X X X X S would already be gone now, as of the right now. Yep. Yep. We'd be yeah. thinking about playing states with uh, AI Ford. That would be. It would keep the. It would keep it fresh. I. It just. I don't know. It might be hard for people to adjust to the meta that that often. To people maybe who can't like practice as much or something. Um, but possible. it would keep it fresh. I like that it would keep it, it would fresh. keep it fresh. That is true. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like and with the weird like worldwide releases with of the cons, like just just set a date, whatever it is, right? If Europe gets a preference, whatever over sure. America, yeah. whatever, just set a date. At least we know three mm-hmm. years. Mm-hmm. Um. But I, I don't know. I don't think they'll ever do, like, you know, sets. I, I think that, like, right now, that it's not an official rule that sets last for two years and cons last for three years. I don't think they will ever make a firm statement like that because it, it does nothing to help them. Right? It's the same way that other companies are vague on, like, some of their guidelines. It's to give themselves wiggle room in mm-hmm. case they want to. They want to change something. I mean, so they can something. always add a thing that's a dis- this is disclaimer. We can do whatever the heck we want. Yeah, but people still get mad. <laughs> right. Yeah, somebody's going to bitch no matter that's what. That's why we've been talking about it for 55 minutes. <laughs> so, there. Um, yeah. You know what? Yeah. Something I did not realize is that Serpent Daredevil was still legal. Yeah, all the serpents were, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I saw somebody play something. Serpent Punisher, maybe. I mean, eight, eight Batman still the is still really good. Yeah, yeah. He's I saw cheapest, I saw somebody play. He's your yeah. cheapest heavier heavy equipper in the game. How many points are they? Fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah, those things were good. Um, I was gonna say something. Oh yeah, I just I just think people go back and look at stuff like because there there is stuff that is older that could be good in the meta i'm i'm kind of i don't know 
I don't know if it's good, but I've, <laughs> I've been looking at Silver Surfer because he is a pulse waver, which is cool. Um, Shadow King has pulse wave, and he can free phase and then pulse wave. 11 for 4 with prom. Mm. I don't know. You gotta deal with Q somehow, right? You can't call in a chamber or a storm anymore. Mm-hmm. Even Torch can kind of do that too. Ooh, he can yeah, just, that's true. That's he true. He can pull. He can pro entry moves, and he does that ping damage. And so is Captain can Marvel. Poison, can you poison after he places? Yes. Okay. Yes. So yeah. you have. To, so I just want to be. I just want to have a thought there. Mm-hmm. That. Proteus barrier based teams stop all of that flying through you stuff. That is true. I'm not saying that that, you know, it's like. Kills it, but. I'm not saying it kills it, but it gatekeeps it. Mm-hmm. So yeah. just, and just think about that, right? So if you're like, oh man, I'm going to fly through all these retails now. Now when Proteus is like, stay there, don't move. Yeah, but. I mean, Proteus can do that now. Yeah. The only thing that makes it easier now is almost every team has a Cyclops, right? That's what makes it easier. Correct. So, yeah. I mean, if they have two barriers, it's still... I mean, it's still easier. It's exponentially easier with Cyclops. So maybe that changes it enough that more people play Proteus. Just gotta yeah. play them, play them Tri-Sentinels, play that Kirk and Uhura, get rid of that barrier, right? Kirk and Uhura... Did Kirk and Uhura stay? Yeah. Yes. Oh boy. I think I found were 18 it back in my car. Yeah, so it was Blackburn. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Kirk and R is good, right? Yeah, they're okay. Twenty five points. They don't get rid of they don't get rid of the actual barrier on the map, like the walls, but um yeah. so we like we lose uh, Storm, Phoenix Storm, but we also lose her ID, so that's not a huge deal. Um, something that I thought should have been played more was Doctor Voodoo. Really? Yeah, he was Avengers Prob for forty points. Yeah, but Avengers just always had Team Prob. Yeah, but only five of them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> only five. You're not wrong. I've seen people. I've seen somebody. I, yeah. Oh, and yeah, Tyler, Tyler, Shadow, Shadow King can't pull, can't phase and then pulse wave. Why? Because he has to use like mind control before he uses phasing to be able to use phasing at no cost. No, uh, really? Am I dumb? Yeah. It says mind control phasing teleport once okay. per turn. Okay. You don't have to say yeah. Resolution. When I ask if I'm yeah. dumb. Okay, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> you were the one that asked if you were dumb. He was just no, 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 no. I'm not dumb. Okay, it says my control comma phasing period once per turn when Shadow King. Oh, you're dumb. Or you're right. I'm dumb. Okay. <laughs> I'm dumb. You're right. I have Thank you. Man. Yeah. Okay. All right. Shadow King is uh, still garbage. Everybody disregard that. I am. You, sad had, you, had, the, me all, uh, you had me all excited there. <laughs> like, this guy can free phase and then pulse. Like, this seems really good. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. The, uh, Onslaught gets better after rotation. Onslaught's still good. Except Actually. when he can't phase through Proteus. And you know what? He'll just have Proteus to keep him there. Uh, to keep him keep people at bay at his walls. Amazing. Yeah. It is hard to get through. No, yeah. he no, no, no. It's fine. He teams with Arno Stark. So GG. Get wrecked. Proteus. Are they both armor? <laughs> armor, baby. New meta. Uh, yeah, well, no, it's not. Wait, is it? Yeah. Because then... Yeah, that's fine. I was thinking that Captain Marvel would do three penetrate to them, but that's not. That's only vehicles. Yeah, they're not vehicles. They are not. Is there each, somebody that gets a bonus against armor? Like in the new set or something? Um, each uh, week. M- Mandarin... Mandarin, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. What's his Mandarin? Yeah. Uh, Mandarin. Uh, hold on, let me make sure. Which Mandarin? It, the new. Yeah. The super he rare. gets rid of their. Yeah. He he green arrows them. Dang. Actually, never mind. Never mind. He doesn't green arrow them. He surters them. Yeah. 
Wow, I did not know yeah. that. I yeah. Know. It's his chi manipulation traits. Yeah. Because huh. he's a Iron Man villain. Yeah, I know that. Yeah. They used to be. I had the arch nemesis ones, and I think they're from Infinity Challenge. I could be wrong. They had yellow bases. And uh, dude, what about the other right. man? That was pretty good. Who? At the the one the con at the beginning of your turn, choose standard attack and damage power that you not just from his last turn. They can use them. Not bad. He's 150 points though, so probably not great. Yeah, not great. 150 points. If it's not Black Panther good, it's probably not good. It looks like he has the same dial as the 70 point one. <laughs> it's a little longer, but yeah. <laughs> what figure are we talking about? The like the, the con 2018 con. Yeah. They could pick a power or the LE or I don't think it's a con. I think it's an LE. It, yeah, it was an LE. Yeah, WKO LE. Hmm. So, all right, let's. Uh, let me check our questions for any more retirement-related questions. Um, Aaron Constantine Morgan, we talked about um, theme teams that will rise up. I mean, and of course, we talked about ruler. You know, we talk about ruler. We've been talking about ruler. Ruler brute. I think those are your two new big ones. Um, monster, maybe even armor. The best what four are still. Monster, Mystical, Ruler, and Cosmic. And I, I don't know if there's a clear-cut winner now anymore. It used to be Cosmic, but I think they've all sort of risen up to the same level, probably. Yeah, and then and then probably, that's in generic, your your theme team will be Avengers, S.H.I.E.L.D. with Batman, and uh, Justice League with Batman. <laughs> we don't know that yet. <laughs> <laughs> you know, though, if he, need, if he has to be activated twice... You can still use this influence ring to knock you, him back. I know you can do it. It just makes it like harder. I just, I just, I just can't believe I mean, that they would put something like that out. His first attack power is in cap. Like his, he gets in cap as his first attack power. But you're thinking that there's going to be right. two. There's going to be two clicks of activation. Right. Like mm-hmm. where he just has a blank dial. Or something. Yeah, that's the hope. Because I, I just, they can't put something like that out. That they can attack every character on the board turn one, right? <laughs> they can't have done. They, that. they, they, sh- they can. They shouldn't, but they uh, can. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. I'm how not. Many things not they, how many things have they done? They shouldn't have the done. Sky's not falling yet. I don't want to talk about it until I see the dial, because I have faith in Whiskits that they did not do. Do you, Do you really think have that much faith in their judgment? Do you? Wait, Whiskits has been doing better. They have, but they've done stuff like that before. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I'm not. I just don't want to. I just don't want to discuss it until we see it. That's my. That is my <laughs> official opinion. Because <laughs> it's. it's uh. So the answer is we'll stop talking about Batman. <laughs> um, Tom <laughs> Shannonberger. Um, are you currently sitting beside Uni Mind, choking back tears while reminiscing about the times you had together? Um. And I would say Tom is typically pretty um, satirical in his comments. <laughs> He's a typically pretty satirical in his online attitude. So I'll say this to Tom. I'm Yes, I am reminiscing about the $4,000 World Championship and countless <laughs> WKO Rock Regional Super Q wins that he brought to me, Tom. Yes. Uh, yeah. I feel like that's an appropriate level satirical answer to Tom's stereotypically satirical questioning. Early, later, scrolling down, the, <laughs> Jeremy asked what ID going away do you guys think will be like missed or whatever, and he said Swamp Thing. Um, <laughs> and then Jeremy E. Heisen talked about coronavirus. Um. Oh. We talked about that a little bit. We did talk about that, so it was it was on topic. Mm-hmm. Uh, Joe Pangrazio, you the man, TMT's sad. He asked about that. I agree with um, you. Spencer White has several questions for us. Mm-hmm. Um, will Ultra Chase Thanos see more play post-rotation due to lack yes. of ID card? Yes. yes. He's going to see a lot of play. Um, I'll tell you what. I'll share my... My core 
that I'm thinking about. Initial and initial thoughts. Initial thoughts. And this is this is this is pretty easy. This is a pretty easy one. Thanos and Traitor. And Traitor. Yes, because Traitor can bring in any gem. Mm-hmm. So if you need a badass Thanos, you just say, okay, mm-hmm. you get the power gem this turn, mm-hmm. or this this game, game or whatever. Right. Mm-hmm. Or you need to transport us around. You get space. You need to mind control your Jean Grey on the board. Here's the mind gem. Blah blah blah. I like that. So, I mean, Q Phoenix Jean Grey. Well, yeah, you know, kind of builds itself a little bit after that. Builds itself a little bit. Mm-hmm. I, I I don't think it's quite so good right now. Um. Uh, and then the other next question. He's got four of them for us. Um, will WWE be better or worse or about the same? I'm, I'm going like to say about the same. You I think feel worse? worse. Yeah, just because um, to me, there's still ID batteries. Like if, if someone's playing a 100 point Undertaker, it still seems like an ID battery to me. I don't know if it's good enough on its own. I could be wrong, but the free move and then ID call in was really good. Hmm. But what if Batman can shoot you from across the board Shut first the fuck turn? Shut up. <laughs> that's, a, that's a serious question. They can't shoot them. You're not wrong. I just hate it, okay? Right. Uh, if, if, if Batman so, can do that first turn, then that's yes. a lot better. If Batman is in the thing, then they're obviously better. And Emma Frost is super meta by her now. Yeah, so... Emma Frost is a big thing. So let let I want to I want to take a <laughs> I want to take an question, as, Tyler. Uh-huh. I want to take an aside here, guys, uh-huh. and I want to talk about the potential of thunderbolts. I have no. I know. Sorry, it's sorry. It's not thunderbolts. Talking about bringing Moonstone into Shield. Shield. I I don't know. I okay. It seems gimmicky. I'm not it sure. It seems it seems gimmicky, but there is something there where Kobik is still a good mind controller post rotation. Yeah, Kobik is still good. Mm-hmm. She's not probably as dominant, but she's still a very good piece of fine play. Right. So like, here's your core: Kobik, two Jean Greys. How is that a theme team? Because it's cosmic. Oh. And that's why I, 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 I digressed. Um, oh. But now you're Steve, you're Steve Rogers, Maria Hill, Moonstone, Kobik. Um, and then with no ID cards to worry about, you get more theme, theme fluffy stuff. Um, and giving WWE the shield team ability and then mind controlling them to move away or punch their own dudes is also fine. Yeah, she needs a nine. I mean, obviously you have perplexes. Yeah, you do have perplexes. Um, is shape change optional? It is, and super sense. Okay. Yep. Mm, I don't know. It's at least know that you can do that in case you sit next to somebody or request from somebody's going to do it. I just, right. I don't know. So if, if I but it, so that's one core that I think of with Kobik. I also think of the cosmic core with Kobik. And two genes. Uh, that's pretty. It cool. could be it could be two genes. It could be Starro. Uh, you know, there's there's other cool things, right? It could be astronomer, right? It could just be any yeah. sort of crazy. Because giving a WWE character um, power cosmic. And then mind controlling them away because they no longer have range protection is also just fine. Mm-hmm. Um, so I I think that that's why I would say it's a probably about the same. There's no ID cards to nuclear blast them. Mm-hmm. Um, so like submission holding uh, a Proteus to death is pretty cool. Yeah. Or yeah. Self Sentinel. <laughs> Right. Stealth oh, you can pin. Cool. You can pin a stealth sentinel. Oh, that's like that, yeah. Um, that would be hilarious. Man. <laughs> that stealth is sentinel possible. Would be pretty good post rotation. Yeah, stealth sentinel is good post rotation. Let's just, you know, 
I don't want to talk a lot about what yeah. good, was good pro rotation because we need to see what's good in JLU. But you have a lot of these good cores that are going to be fine because they're just good figures, right? Play good figure. Right. GG. Um, yeah. Third question from Spencer's: Are retaliators a must play, or do they see a decrease in play because you don't need more low costed figures to fit in call ins? Well, I think we've talked about that they can definitely be played. Yeah, they don't see a decrease for sure. Um, I don't know. I don't know if they're a must play. I don't. I don't know that anything was a must play except for ID cards. Yeah, I don't think. I don't. I don't think retail is a must play right now. Um, it's the closest thing in meta to a must play, though. After rotation, right. Um. So McConnell Lamar. What ID cards going away for the foreseeable future? What are your all-time top three favorite ID cards, along with your favorite call-in for that card? Can I go first? Yeah, absolutely. Um, number one has to be Shield because it had so many options, so many. Um, and, and Nick Fury has to be because he was the best call-in of all time, in my opinion. I think he was better than Green Arrow. Um, Number two is Batman with Trinity oh. War Batman. Oh, yeah. I loved calling him in. He did so much when you called him in. It was crazy. Running shot pulse wave, RCE, like 13 for six. He had outwit. Support. Flex. He was one of the few yep. support call-ins you could get. And I have done that. I have healed up my Red Sun Wonder Woman after I called him in once. That was cool. And then perplexed over defense. Um, and third is probably Harley Quinn, just because she's Bay. I love that Harley Quinn. She's super cool. Those were probably my top three. Jason? Um, Cyclops is my first one hmm. with Super Rare Cyclops. Sure. Um, and Super Rare Wolverine with his, with his ID card. And then uh, just the Spider-Man ID with, I guess, probably at the time. I don't even know which Cosmic. one I was using. Yeah, Cosmic Spider-Man. Cosmic probably, Spider-Man yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, the Charge Flurry one was really good. Yeah, yeah that's that, good too. That's when you could use an object with it. Getting Super Sense yeah. off an ED card was awesome. Just Spider-Man with any Spider-Man. I'm okay, that <laughs> was totally great with. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, fair enough. I'll give you that. Um. So it feels like my obvious... Like, the obvious answer for me is number one with Shield with Nick. Yeah. But I am going to give out a massive shout-out to Shield Hulk at 150. Yes, he was he was really, really good. Still right. legal right now, guys, if you want to play him at full points. Right. <laughs> um, like, I, I just, I feel like I can't say how much that guy did work for me in game after game. Mm-hmm. And, of course, Nick Fury just always did work. Right. But... The fact that I could have Nick and Hulk on the team. He definitely was, deserves an honorable mention. Yes. Um, number two, that's going to be a, kind of a hard one for me, right? Because there's a lot of been a lot of IDs that were impactful to me. Um, so, you know, I, I honestly don't know, right? Like, so none of the IDs like in my two world championship runs were um, a super duper like game changing, right? There was no like, oh man, I called in Cyclops and he did the thing. Mm-hmm. Um, what about, um, did you use Nightwing a lot? I did, but it was more of the Pog, right? Like I, I, I used the Pog more than anything, mm-hmm. um, but Nightwing was good. Mm-hmm. Um uh, I did like the Nightwing. The, I would say he's probably number two. Okay. Um, and then I'd probably say Super Rare Wolverine with the Headmaster ID. Okay. That's fair. He, he, he's brought Uni up off that stop click quite a bit. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I mean, three good. is so like, my, but my honorable mention of things that hold a good place in my heart <laughs> is like 15 of them. Yeah. Because, like, whenever you see somebody retail with a Surter, um, then have Ironheart call in Adam and shrink the Surter so he can punch again. 
Yeah. <laughs> or did yeah. you guys ever pull off the Shang Chi trick? It did yeah. not. I did no, not personally. I. <laughs> I only saw it, but it was about <laughs> cool whenever it happened. You know, I missed Superman ID with boxing Superman. Oh, yeah, that thing was so precision strike battle fury flurry. Oh, I hated that thing. Oh, man, that was a good one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dang. That was also a good one. What I was never... Superman's inspiration? Invincible. Invincible, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's insane. Okay, never mind. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, man. Okay. Um, you know what? Though you, you, you know what? I take it back. I will use number three as. I'll go number two, super rare, super super rare Wolverine, and then number three as Batman. Oh, with the same one. Uh, yes. Only because there was a moment in 2016 when I got top four at Rock World Championship mm-hmm. of. Phil Isaacson Jr. asking me what the Batman ID did. Um, and then after about 13 hours of play, I just go... Um, hold on, let me pull up his ID here real quick. It was in World's Finest, right? It was in the set. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. And then I go, it has Barrier, Smoke, Cloud, and Stealth. And I sound just like that. Mm-hmm. And he goes, wow, that's a lot. And I'm like, yeah. Because I was given, I was given stealth. I was given stealth to, uh, to Doctor Strange, yeah. Um, and uh, uh, Lane was standing there with uh, Matt, and uh, they were like, "Oh my gosh, Dan just like mind fucked Phil over it." <laughs> okay. Cause, like, it was just my delivery, right? It was just, yeah. I don't know. It was weird. You had to be there. Okay, fair enough. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, number number three is Batman with Trinity War Batman. It's so good. It was so fun. Um, all right, let's keep going down our questions before we talk about JLU here. Um, finally, which additional game element do you think will be most prevalent with IDs gone? Map, special bonus, special ob- map bonus, special objects, or terrain? It got to yeah. be special objects. Special object, objects, right? equipment, yeah. Probably. Map I think bonus. map bonus has a good chance of being just as prevalent. Yeah, I mean you're gonna see multiple um, objects on the team. Yeah, I think if you're, right. I think if you're at the last five points, you're gonna say Remaker Ring before you say Iron Avengers. Yeah, that's true. Dude, I might get to play see. standard characters after rotation, guys. This is gonna be crazy. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> I've, uh, everybody's been talking about special objects. I haven't got to use any. Okay. I, I don't even know what to. So like this is a good one. Let's just add this one in. What is your um what is your number one sadness ob- sad object or sad about that's retiring from TMT? Hold on. <laughs> like for my my answer would obviously be Mjolnir. Right. Um I'm trying to think if there's anything that's close to that. I don't feel like there but, is. But like you could like love it like cuz like Blood Axe is going away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's uh, a really good object. too, actually. Yeah. yeah. I enjoyed Thunderstrike. Yeah. yeah. Thunderstrike was good. But I, yeah, I, I mean, I have to agree with you just because, like, it was so, it was so cool having Mjolnir in the game, and it did like just exactly what you would want a Mjolnir to do. Um. Mm-hmm. So that is sad. Just, it was just cool having that in the game. Um. But yeah, that'd be it. Oh, Mirror. Nobody plays Mirror anymore. That's a cool item. So they it always was. rolled a one or two. I know, you hate it. <laughs> uh, uh, no, I hated it. Well, no, so like, uh, Zach Brazier on our team would always yeah. play it. Yeah. Um, and then like, so <laughs> my favorite moment was, it was, was still, it was post Dorada Uni, but pre, um, it was, but it was pre Lockjaw. So it was about February, I think, because it was, pre xxs as well maybe um i called out a nightwing to flurry his uni i totally forgot that he had the mirror and i was just like all right charge flurry and he was like all right shape change rolled the two and i was like oh shit i'm glad he rolled a two <laughs> dude it's <laughs> it is kind of crazy that people just stop playing this item like i i know that you don't like it that's fine but people played it before 
It's only seven points. I don't, I, I don't like that you can roll a one or a two. I know. I, I agree yeah. with you. And that's a fine reason to not like it. But I'm saying that people did play it before and everybody just sort of collectively stopped. And I, I haven't even thought about it. Well, you could just get year. shape change for something that doesn't give up points. Like that was. Something, yeah, you know? I, I agree. It just it's weird that everybody just collectively stopped doing yeah. it. Yeah. Like for a while there, it was almost used as much as um, Symbiote. I saw it a ton. Okay. Yeah, correct. I agree. About it. Um, and then shout out, we've now got some star power. Finally, guys, we made it. Oh boy. Scott oh, Ignacio yeah. <laughs> posted a picture of the question and said, "Am I doing this right?" <laughs> what? Oh, <laughs> good one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, do you want to? Uh, and do you want to talk said, about the question now, or are we waiting? We we'll, 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 let's get through some oh, of yeah. our. Okay, we okay. still got some more retirement questions. Um, and then I then I just said simply for and Scott doesn't even know how much we love the question here uh-huh. on Clicks Off. Um, as far as I know, he's not a long time listener. Um, but uh, Dave, who's no longer on the show, loves Chase and Le question, and I personally love the Chase question to no end. Mm-hmm. Um, so. With that being said, Jeremy Stallings says, "Is with ID cards going away? Do you think there will be another resource or game-like mechanic like ID cards? Or are we going to a more limited type?" Um, I mean, they're trying things. I think for a while, we're getting. Are we getting special mm-hmm. objects in Venom or Carnage? Do we know that yet? I don't, I don't think we know. We don't know. No, yet. we do, right? Because we saw the pumpkins. Wasn't that an object? A, a trash can, right? Oh, was it? I th- wasn't there a pumpkin bobs thing, or am I wrong? I think there was a pumpkin bombs thing. I guess I missed that. With yeah. a satchel. I'm pretty sure there was. I don't know. But, I it's, know it's, but, but yeah, it's probably more limited type, because we have special objects, and yeah. lots of them. I guess what's... I don't I feel like limited is almost irrelevant at this point. I feel like if you, they did limited, they'd probably not allow objects. Or do you think they could? Well, like Rock Limited did allow objects. Yeah, it did, but it was when they were real new. So I, I, I would yeah. say Limited is now Popper, and that's just the end of the story. I mean, kind of. Um, kind of. Yeah. So I, I don't think there's going to be anything super crazy like resources anymore. I think no. that could be wrong. At least not for a while. I think they, they, they like where it's at. I would say I've at least presented more than one time that they should just reprint the batteries... Um, and, and and I'll share my uh, I'll share my suggestion. My suggestion is reprint the batteries. Um, new cards, right? They can do new things because you okay. just make new, you just make new cards. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Would you just sell the cards as so like separate things? You can do both. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you can just sell sell us new cards, right? Whatever it takes charge us we'll pay it at uh, a different value proposition than i would probably typically value it um but just charge us for the cards and then sell the packs like you used to yeah i could see that that'd be kind of cool yeah so that would be a good way to reuse some old stuff and uh, get get the new card packs i wouldn't mind that Uh, yeah I mean, I kept the collection of all the complete batteries, so I'm probably think, in the minority there. I think I only have a white and black left. Got um, my green. Yeah. <laughs> so Brian Poland, we answered him. Alex Smith, we talked about him. Um, Rick Ryan, uh, is Blade a more realistic? We didn't get a lot of questions about JLU, so this, I think our JLU thing is going to be pretty short here. Okay. Um, is Blade a more realistic main force option now that they won't be using ID to wipe him off the map? I think uh, terrain still becomes Blade's main problem. Right. I yeah, I yeah. just am not a huge fan of Blade. Um, I mean there, I mean there's been a lot of talk about mystical teams, but I just, I still feel like even against a mystical team, Vulture still just seems better to me. Even against, like, Blade was made as a 
a tech piece or a silver bullet for Mystic One Monster, but it just feels like even in those matchups, Vulture's just better at it to me. Yeah, I, I tend to agree with you there. Mm-hmm. Um, Charles Constant, is Immortal Hulk dead now that IDs are retiring? Mm. I think instead of playing an ID, you play the knockback ring with him on another character. Yeah, I just don't know if it'll be worth it. It's pretty hard. Um, like and when you on the team you were talking like if this if Immortal Hulk runs into a Starro, um, like a mind control team, he's kind of just dead, right? He doesn't get tokens. Or I guess he still would for the mind control attacks, wouldn't he? He has Battle Fury on Clip too. Yeah, but I'm just saying if you you would still get them if I mind controlled your Windigo to smack something, you would still get them. Um, uh, yeah, but he'd get a lot of yeah. tokens that away. That's what I'm saying. He would get tokens from that. I, I was saying yeah. that for some reason. Um, oh, okay. I, I get what you're saying now. Yeah, 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 yeah but he would. Yeah, um, Hulk, getting, Hulk, Hulk would still get murdered up. I mean, he would still be ready to go murder. <laughs> I don't, he's a lot worse. Like, a lot worse. Because you should be calling in with him almost every turn right now. I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. I, I, I feel don't like know. You think he's worse? He's, why do you think he he just why? He's worse because right now, if if you aren't calling in with him every turn, you're most likely doing it wrong. That's his whole point right now, is that you can call in and then you can charge. Okay. So you, well, okay. All right. So I think you're comparing him not in his new role. So if ID yeah. cards didn't exist. Would you play Hulk that you had to activate and he could go smash and then smash? Maybe. Yeah, you can just smash twice. <laughs> I guess, but it, like if we're saying that Kobik is worse, why wouldn't Hulk be worse? Kobik's main role is to call in. So is Hulk. Kobik can't I, just kill you. I, no, what I'm saying <laughs> is that Kobik... Yeah. No, no, I think, I think you're getting a little bit backwards there. Uh-huh. Kobik's role is now to currently call in. Mm-hmm. In her new mm-hmm. role, she has to use her mind control. Right. So, but I think that makes her worse. Well, be, no, I mean, it depends no. on how much battle fury there is, probably. Um, but Kobik is still good in being able to mind control from a long range because the thing she can't mind control, she can swap the TAs with. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. So I'm not saying that Kobik is not good. I'm saying that she is worse than she is right now. Well, everything's worse than it is right now because it doesn't you can't call out an ID card. I guess that's, I, think, I think it. I think it's irrelevant. That's probably yeah. fair. Uh, so I, I think Hulk is still really good. Okay. Yeah. I mean, right. you just play the you just play the the impact beam or influence ring, knock I him f- up against the wall, and just go murder more. Yeah, you'd have to play it and then have it not get destroyed, but it's harder to destroy stuff. Yeah, much harder to destroy stuff. Um, so Malcolm, we'll talk about team up cards here in a few minutes. Uh, Jay Sanzen, do we think early retirement is good? Would so I think here's the question: Would it have hurt for them to stay and finish out their natural lifespan? Yeah, I mean, it depends who you ask, I guess. If you ask us, we would probably say no, right? Um, oh, I have never I'm really fine liked with ID. It. I've never really liked ID cards, so I'm fine with it. Retail is going to outlive them either way. Mm-hmm. Might as well get used to it now. I think it's a. I think it's. I. I like it on principle because I'm not a huge fan of ID cards, and it it opens up the meta and makes us look at all these new... It's made, it's a clean slate, mm-hmm. which is cool, um, but I don't know if it will be good for the game until after everything settles, because I don't... It could be that the meta is stale and there's only three good teams. That's possible, because yeah, we just we don't, don't know have. anything. But I, on principle, I'm for it, but pragmatically, we'll have to see how it shakes out, I guess. Right. Well, I think we just communicate so well now within the Heroclix community that we can see how narrow things can get because of theme team and ancient hold they can 
I'm I'm not sold on it happening. I know it's a possibility, but I I just don't I just don't know that we know anything because it's so hard to consider everything that this changes because it fundamentally changes every character in the game. Basically. Right. So it's a, it's really going to be what does Worlds this year tell us? Yeah, I agree. We just don't know yet. But pragmatically, I'm for it because I like the clean slate aspect. Yeah. Or no, not pragmatically. The other one. The the other word that you used. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Um. So Giordano um, asked, so let's just talk about JLU. Giordano's asking about Dark Side. Malcolm's asking about team up cards. Um, so Tyler disagrees with me. I don't think we've seen the character yet. Oh, you're saying because I think it's Ace. Yeah, because you think you think yeah. Ace is a big deal. I do. Uh, and I say that Tyler crit missed six times in one game. As long as you generate <laughs> enough attacks, it doesn't matter what you roll because eventually you're going to roll at enough average to well, uh, KO the thing. So I agree with that statement. But on a team where your your whole point is to pump up somebody that's a 14 attack and then attack, if you miss that one attack, that's a very big deal. So if you don't have a problem on that team... I think that's a big deal. Yeah, but we should all be playing whales, so it doesn't but matter. Whales is this is his post rotation world. No, it could be. It will be. I, I well, mean, so, and that's not the only reason she's good. She's she's just she has, you know, perplex, prob, TK, barrier. Really, she's a really good support piece. Her thing that, um, whenever when Ace is KO'd by an opposing attack, deal one avoidable damage to that character. When Ace is KO'd by a range attack, deal one avoidable damage to everybody. All opposing characters in his protected class. Like, that's crazy good. So I don't, I don't disagree to that. I don't guess. Um, but I just think that post rotation with Vulture and all the silliness stuff that we've already talked about, mm-hmm. that it doesn't matter. She doesn't do enough to matter. Because she doesn't theme with anybody. And she can't be on the Avengers or the S.H.I.E.L.D. agent because she's 60 points. It's possible that we get um, Gotham City on the world or even Project Cadmus. There's a few good pieces already. That's it's yeah. Maybe it works. Um, like her and two Amazos and you have three barrier pieces against the Vulture. That seems good. Barrier perplex. Yeah. So I guess I guess the piece that we have seen is amazing. Yeah. Do you guys think he's good? I, I've seen a lot of mix on this. He could be. Well, that doesn't help anybody. I mean, <laughs> I mean, he doesn't. He only takes a maximum of one damage. When he has the power. That they're no. attacking. No, no, no. That he takes a maximum of one damage when attacked by a character that can use a power other than a willpower that a Mazo can use. Yeah, I mean, but there's he there's so many standard powers that could just match up. There, it could. I agree. Um, the big deal with that is that he is outwittable, so you can't out like if I'm gonna charge you with the Hulk and you have picked charge, I can outwit your charge and then you can hit him. So that is still a thing. Um, but his stats are real good for any of his point values. Yeah, but if I choose like charge and invincible, I'm probably okay. Yeah, I I, yeah. I, I think he's good. I I just have seen a lot of dissenting opinions. I like him. He's a robot injustice league probably doesn't matter. Robot's I good think... though. Yeah, robot's good. Project Cadmus might be. Um, or just non-theme. He's probably also just good on non-theme. Probably, yeah. I, I like him. Um, um, at 40, he's okay. He's, he's pretty good at 40, even, because he can be really annoying to deal with for a 40-point character, and he can give you an extra perplex or outwit or TK or whatever you need. Yeah. Why isn't Ace just good on a non-theme team? She is. I think she's yeah, really good. Thing. She fits on the team that's like the just the good stuff team. I think she fits right in there. Like you just take off Sheriff Strange and you put her in there, and it just it works perfectly. Because Sheriff Strange isn't as good 
late after rotation, obviously. So I think she slots in perfectly for that on that team. Poor Sheriff Strange. Yeah. Uh, he's had a good run. He's, he's had a decent run. Yeah. I think I think it's it's good. Um but yeah, I think she slots into that. Yeah, Danny doesn't like her because she won't let him prob. <laughs> it's like don't play her. You know he's what? Trying to, I, 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 he's trying to talk everybody out of playing her. I know what you're doing. Don't, say, <laughs> don't, don't, don't try to talk. To her. All right, whatever. <laughs> you can say that if you want, but uh, I just don't think she's good. I don't like. She just has really good powers. Like all the powers she wants, she has. She's not too many points. I I don't like her. She's really good to me. She's a mind control. That's good. And a mind mind control is good after retirement. Still, she's like cool mind control. Um, I don't know. I I just don't see a downside to her. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm not sold yet. I think we're outvoting him, Tyler. Two to one. We win. <laughs> good like good job, guys. You you can win on this one. Uh, um, <laughs> do you guys like Dark Side? <sighs> I don't know, I'm not sold on him. Yeah. I want I want to. Yeah. Dude, he gets a twenty defense on his last click. That's OP. Is it? I when's the last time you've seen a standard character with twenty defense? Uh Parasite I don't Prime. Know. Wait, like, what? Yeah. Parasite <laughs> Prime. Parasite Prime. Oh, okay. Uh, high, high, attack, high attack just trumps high defense every time. It like, does, I know. Um, it, it's not like super relevant. He was with 20 defense in his last click. I mean, Vulture gets a 14 attack. He just needs to roll a 6. Like, Vulture, it. Doesn't, Vulture does not kill this guy, though. I'm not saying him particularly. I'm just saying you can get there. Right. Like, yeah. Yeah, the 20 is not what... I. I don't know if he's good enough, but it ain't what he used to be. <laughs> he's close. Mainly, the main reason I like him is his defenses, defensive stuff. Um, Traded mastermind is good when he uses a heal, so that's pretty cool. Um, it's got. I don't know what you can mastermind to now that's good with him, um, but there's probably something. Mastermind to a bunch of uh, um, grods. There you go, ten point grod. Especially yeah, he he would be good. He'll be good, but he'll be better post rotation. So this is back to Giordano's question, mm-hmm. um, because right now you can just multi-target pulse wave, kill all the things, so he can't mastermind to them. Yeah. Um, uh, okay. He's got the boom tube. I don't care about that. Um, I mean, and, and I think the other thing is is like he's two hundred points. Yeah, I would think, like to. I would like to at least see another two clicks out of him for three hundred or for two hundred. Ooh, two, maybe one click. He's got a lot of stuff that is cool. I mean, um, like I get he heals, but like he also has zero range. Um, now he has zero ma- range. Yeah, now he's he makes up for his... that because of his uh his oh, omega like, beam. Maybe. Which is super cool how they did that power. I like that a lot. Yeah, that's um, a good spot. Yeah. Um, let me think. The defense is good. It's impervious. You can reduce penetrating damage, and it's protected pulse wave. So you you he gets to roll the four, five, or six, which is cool. But and yeah, he, I didn't. And he has quintessence, right? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't see he was zero range, so that does hurt him. <laughs> I, I just assumed that he would have range, to yeah. be perfectly honest with you. I mean, like, he can get... Um, I mean, I guess I like that he can... He can mastermind the things. Like, I mean, he can mastermind a lockjaw. I th- can you mastermind a lockjaw? Yeah. Why? <laughs> There's nothing says you can't. Yeah, but <laughs> everything like Lockjaw you can't mastermind to. Oh, it, it, this it, is it. why you wanted mastermind and an eternal. All right, this all makes yeah. sense. Yeah, where the hell have you been for like the last two years? <laughs> yeah, where have you been, me wanting a mastermind eternal? I don't understand why you can do that. That seems dumb. They errated other people, so you can't do this. Um, 
Yeah, but mm-hmm. he can heal a decent amount. He's got a lot of steel energy late. If he gets flurry. That. He should get to steel energy if he hits with an Omega Beam, right? Because it's close attack? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. There's a lot of ways to heal later in the dial. Um, do you guys think that one-man army or tent poles are better after rotation? I feel like they should be. So I was yeah. talking... I was talking to... Who was I talking to about this already? It it comes down to can the swarm team beat the tent pole, or is the yeah. tent pole strong enough to survive? Yeah, I agree with that. So I like in the be. in the example in the example that you have here with Dark Side, like. I would just say, let's just say that there's four Wendigos. Mm-hmm. And Wendigo goes and charge flurries his mastermind fodder and heals. And then something, something gets knocked back to its stop click. Mm-hmm. How many times can Darkseid withstand exploit to the face? Well, and, I, just assu- and just assuming that, and just assuming that um, the attacks all hit and stuff. Yeah, exploit right, so doesn't because he can reduce penetrating damage. I agree, but like if you start rolling blades on it, so does this winner does when to go have blades? Yeah, on his some of his clicks he has blades. Yeah, right. So if he starts rolling for blades exploit, uh, blades. exploit doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, it's irrelevant. Yeah, it 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 does matter somewhat, right? No, he's got either invincible or he can reduce penetrating, and he has okay. Per- what actually? No, no, because yeah, it does because if he rolls it, no, never mind. Not, you, you're right. Whatever. Um, so, point aside, but how many times can he just keep rolling it? Okay, I, this if we, did, actually, if we were if we were just saying that the mirror was no good because of one and two, is one two three. Well, the mirror wasn't good better. because if you roll a one or two, you lose it. So this guy is actually growing on me a lot that I know we're talking about this. Because if you attack him, let's just say six times with a, with Wendigos in one turn, which is not unreasonable, even eight mm-hmm. times, like you're only hitting, you're only dealing damage to three or four of those attacks because he has a 50-50 rollout. And on top of that, his Omega Beam is a lot better than I thought it was because it's when you're surrounded it is more or less a free attack every turn. It's a free close every turn if you're surrounded. Because you're going to hit it every turn. Um, and later he has steel energy. So that's free steel energy every turn. Um, he has flurry or sidestep. I, this guy's growing on me. I kind of like him. Yeah, I, th- I think I like him. I think I've talked myself into it. Just the being able to hit with Omega Beam really easily, as free every turn, and he has that many clicks of steel energy, is it's good. Um, what would you equip him with, if anything? Can you equip him? You can. Um, probably, I mean, just tried and true shape changes to make him survivable. Mm-hmm. I don't think I don't think you need exo specs. Um, Ock arms don't do anything. So yeah, just a ring or two. Remaker plus. What what offensive piece would you give him? Venom harness. Venom harness is good because, but I don't, I don't think he. He's got enough stats like offense. Mm, hold on, wait a minute. I'll disagree there. You can never have enough stats. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Um. Yeah, I think just shape changes is, is what I would do with them. Mm-hmm. Just when in doubt, use shape change. I'm trying to think of if there's another thing that's good, but I can't think of anything. Power, no. Okay. Yeah. Um. So I'm gonna see what else we've got going on here. Uh, I mean, we got the preview Bongle and Big Barda. Oh, um, they're not up, are they? Oh. Yeah, they are. Mongols up, at least oh, in the thread. Oh, yeah, I'm looking at the actual thing. Yeah. Um, I wish Martian Manhunter had his movement power 
at the top of his dial instead of mid dial. The super rare. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's great. It's awesome. Yeah. Flurry stealth giant reach three. Yeah, but if you're in that uh, if you're in that dial, you're probably phasing teleporting away and then trying to reach in. Mm-hmm. Which is good, so. but it's not it's not enough. All right. Um. Yeah, honestly, I kind of agree with what you said before. The thing. A lot of the super rares on this set are disappointing. There are some standouts, but, like, Stargirl does not seem like a super rare dial to me. Um, and neither does really, like, like, um... They all, a lot of them seem like rares. Yeah. Like, I guess they're over-costing, like, the hot girl thing, like... Because she's got that Justice Lords thing, um, but and then um, she can also get rid of hit characters' equipment, which is cool. Like is like you don't have to roll for it anymore. It's just you know, it's gone. But right, like that's enough. Um, I feel like Wonder Woman is forgivable. I feel like there's normally like there's like a sort of theme in a set, like a mini theme, and then there's always a super rare that's sort of like the leader of it. Or like mm-hmm. synergize well with it, and that seems like what she does. Yeah, so that's kind of forgivable. Um, Warhawk would have been really cool two years ago to give um, <laughs> Star Fox charge. Right. Or um, what's the other one? Because he has police. What's this police one? Photon. Star Photon. Yeah. Yeah. That would be cool. Yeah, I agree with that. I'm with you there. Um. um. Stripe's kind of cool. Like he's got these 35 points, leadership, perplex, um, defend with 18. That's okay. And if he, what if he leaderships? When Stripe uses leadership and succeeds this turn, when he uses perplex or another friendly character, he may instead modify common value by plus two, except damage. That's pretty okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I never get the the damage plus two being a issue. Like it's always you just can never plus two damage. It's because um, I think that they're afraid when you perplex damage, you can um, basically multiply it. So if you so one perplex into Windigo's damage is basically plus four perplex for that turn. But if you perplex defense, I mean it's just plus one defense. I know, but it's the same thing if you double perplex his attack. It, it is to an extent. You're exponentially making it better, easier to hit over two attacks versus damaging yeah, but, over two attacks. But not as much, I don't think. So if you go from a three damage to a four damage, that's a 33% increase. But 11 to 12 attack isn't a 33% increase to attack. Maybe I'm. That seems right because like it's a lower the damage is always the lowest number. Yeah, so increasing true. by a you know. Sorry, there's, I'll give you that. There's some other cool stuff in the set or, that's close. Um, Shade's kind of cool. Um, as a as a taxi type thing for mystical. But so um, I think what is our biggest standout so far? For me, it's Ace, 100. percent I mean, we can't just go without saying the biggest standout is Dr. Fate. I, I, I don't know if I agree with that. He's, I mean, for 115 points, you get a plus five mystical theme team. With five actions. Yeah. And, and then if you have a leadership, yeah. like this is where like Justice League leadership is pretty easy to come by. and like Does Sheriff's, power rotate? Uh, no. So you could have seven actions on a turn on a team. On a Justice League team, yeah. Just a society team. Oh, is she Justice League too? Uh, do you, oh, I don't know. That's a good question. Dude, this would be kind of. I cool. thought. I thought she was. A, a she is Justice as, League and Justice Society. Yeah. Right. So That's what's funny cool. is that like, so in my theory crafting, so this guy gets you five, right? Uh huh. Leadership gets you a six. Power Woman gets you a seven. 
that's AEW, kind of AEW Wasp would get you an eight, <laughs> and one of the title characters from Star Trek would get you a nine, and it would all fit in 300 points. And you would have nine actions to take. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Yeah. But, it, I mean, that's like the extreme, but I don't think it's extreme to have five of these and Power Woman on a team. Right, um, and, a, and a Justice League leadership should be pretty easy to come by. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, so seven actions is definitely... Wait, don't they have... Am I dumb? Um, let's see. Don't the, don't, the, don't the founding members have something that's the same thing? No, I mean, you have a lot of the Justice League Unlimited where they roll a six, and then you can remove a token from another friendly character, but it's not leadership. Yeah, but one of them had a... It's a founding members trait. Um, I'm looking. The starter set's pretty good. Um, yeah. oh, yeah, no, yeah, so you can get eight. So, Marsh, like, the Martian man, all of them have the founding members, um, plus speed, plus two, but only if you have four or more with the Justice League keyword, and then for all friendly characters that can use this trait, action total plus one, but only if your force has six or more characters with the Justice League trait. And they all have leadership. This is actually kind of crazy. Do they all mm. have leadership? Where did you see oh, that? Oh, not at? all of them. Okay, so Wonder Woman has leadership. Uh, Martian, Martian Man, Man has leadership. Hunter. And Superman has leadership. So that's seven, right? Five Three. leaderships. Five, six, seven. Yeah, it's, it's five, eight. From, five from Fate. Six from Power Woman. Seven from Luke Seven, eight guys. from Martian Man. And then eight. Man. Yeah. It's eight. real easy to get eight. So I guess there's your eight actions to bust through multiple layers of barrier from Proteus. That's that's kind of insane, guys. That's really that's crazy. pretty crazy. That's pretty wild, yeah. You have TKs, so you can you can TK four people and then act with those four people. <laughs> right. One turn. Or or Green Lantern could actually carry the full eight Doctor Fate clones up with the <laughs> yeah. Green Lantern core team ability that he doesn't have oh he does not have that that seems what? dumb there's got to be one in the set that has it right That's the starter cool. has it isn't he no nope. the starter he has, does not he has the it. keyword oh then the ability. one of them does the, then the other one does then yeah yeah the common one does okay yeah. and he modifies speed for plus one for each person with a jla team, team ability he's got 12 movement and he has a JLA team build anyway, so he gets a plus one from that too. That's right. Wait a minute. Yeah. Does the do the Doctor Fates have the yep. JLA team ability? They don't have. Yeah, the, they do. They don't have the. Oh, they do! Oh yeah. my gosh, are you shitting me right and now? And Mystics, yeah. <laughs> so so Green with. Lantern can freaking carry eight Doctor Fates, thirteen, 13 squares. squares. <laughs> it's kind of cool. He's got like a he's got like a mystical shield. <laughs> Because they all have Mystic's team ability. There's something here. That's insane. The, how, so how many points is the lowest? So how it's 115 for them? For yes. five of them? Okay, uh-huh. so one 115, or six of them. Isn't it six of them? Because you have to have five extras. Yeah, so that's six, yeah. So 115, um, 140 with... Um, Power Woman. What's your, Power Woman. And then 40 for Wonder Woman is the cheapest? So that's 180 for eight actions, and you still have 20 points left. You don't have to have six. I mean, to have five of them. Do you? It says you have five plus such characters. Action total plus two. During course construction, for all characters of this trait, two to four characters name Doctor. Okay, you're right. Okay. But I think it's still 115. 65 plus four. That's 100. That's 105. Oh, okay. Okay. So that's 170. So you have 130 points to work with for Justice League. And it's the name theme tune. This is kind of cool. I'm going to look at this. Okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> interesting. It is interesting. I'm glad to see you excited about it. <laughs> Plus, we have eight actions. That's you know what, cool. though? Here's the thing. It might be relevant post retirement, because uh-huh. right now you roll up Tyler, and you roll a seven, set five times in a row, 
and just quake their entire team to death. Oh, yeah. And, I... and don't take any <laughs> mystics. Yeah. That's, that's really fun. That would be fun. Or if this JLA team team faces a 300-point juggernaut. I don't know. They got eight actions a turn. Well, no, he'll just kill them all in one shot, won't he? Before they can do anything to him. Maybe. I don't think they have the reach back. Um, Might be the problem. Yeah, maybe. Sorry, I'm just being cynical at this point. That's pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. Um, Last thing I wanted to talk, I wanted to touch on was: Do you guys like? Do you guys think the question is good? The question's always good. Okay. Yeah. But, that's not a question. That's an answer. Okay, but in 300 meta, do you think the question is a valid play? The question is always a valid play. You, I'm gonna. Okay, one second. Let me look up all the questions, and I'm gonna find a bad one. They've all been pretty good. You no, won't I'm find one. Up. Arcan- yeah. Arkham Asylum question. Was oh, good. she was the bomb, dude, back in the day. Once per turn, once during your turn, the question can use outwit or perplex. When the question uses perplex, she can modify the comment values of only opposing characters. How is this the bomb? Sell smoke cloud, perplex, or outwit? Dude, she For was awesome back 37 then. 37 points when there was not a lot of stealth busting. Is that good? Listen, I was, I was playing back then. She was great. Okay. I used her all the time. She's one of my favorite pieces from back then. Can I say that the origin she was question's a, bad? And she was also a martial artist keyword, and martial artist was really good back then. Okay, I'm going to say the veteran question from Origins was bad. Boom. I don't remember what he does. He's got outwit. He's Wait got a night minute. attack. I think, comparatively speaking, everything from Origin is bad. I'm not no, I'm not saying compared to I'm saying from the set and compared to other things in the set. Don't make me look up the origins. It's <laughs> not turning into the question. I don't care. So I so I don't think he's good. In so he certainly has his drawbacks. He doesn't have the ability to he has to power to load. Right. He doesn't get to load like the other ones. Well that's not super bad because Trelane could do that, so I don't think No that... no Trelane no no. I'm talking about um, Trelane gets to load for free, and Q gets to load for free. No, Trelane has Trelane's power. power action. No, Trelane gets to load his card at the beginning of the game. Yeah, he gets one free one, but then he has the power yeah. after that. But that, that's what I'm saying. I, yeah, yeah, I, I agree with you there. That, that's that's what I'm saying is a difference is a, is a negative. I don't think the power action is the limiting factor. I think it would it's be okay. The range. That range and line of fire. I think it's super easy to block this. It, mm-hmm. So it, it's, I think it's a mainly an offensive tool instead of the defensive tool that Trelane and Q can do. Just because when I'm attacking, I can make it so it's harder for you to line up a shot. Um, yeah, since he has no improved targeting. Uh, right. You know, though, he uh, he fits onto your Justice League team team with eight actions, so he'll always have an action to reload. That is true. That's fair. He is in yes. <laughs> um yeah, I just I just don't think he's good enough. I feel like with the power action and with the range and line of fire, to me it's almost I almost wish he just had prob instead of that power. I think it would be better. Um than than that power. Just standard prob I think might be better than that. Is my feeling on it. Mm. But the real question is why is there 31 flavors? The real question? Oh, <laughs> I, I yep. remember that episode. <laughs> the question was super cool in this show. He was he was really cool. But he is like with the only non-unique die manipulator, right? That's true. You can you can run how many of these? Seven? Eight? Eight? Seven. Of them? Seven. 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 Right. <laughs> you could do that, and then he had, when you're attacking him, you have to have line of fire because he's the only one to attack. That's right. So, and you can generate enough smoke cloud that uh, vulture would be 14 on a 19. Yeah, so. he, I mean he's always in stealth. That is kind of cool. Yeah, but I don't know. All right, more to come on Justice League Unlimited. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, we'll do a full set review probably. Yeah, well, not probably. I hope we will as long yeah. as uh, as long as we're still living, folks. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, all right, let's wrap up today's episode with some final thoughts. Jason, go. Oh gosh, I didn't even time to think about it. <laughs> I don't wash your hands. Oh, that's a good one. At yeah. the office, instead of high fives, we're 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 kicking each other in the shoes. It's pretty dumb, but that sounds like you would stir up your corona dust on your feet. <laughs> my corona dust. I don't know. That's what my boss told me to do, and then he kicked me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I think uh, the funny, the funniest thing is I don't know if it's real or not, but they're saying that high proof liquor can help stop the virus. I've heard that. I don't think that's true. I don't know. It's worth if it's if it's worth a try. I'll I'll be, I'll be sure to continue to protect myself for science. So you're going to volunteer, right? To no, I am not out. a volunteer. I do not want the coronavirus, but I will continue to cleanse my system of it, <laughs> of any potential. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I just I wonder, like, what's the uh, closest we've been to someone that's infected already, given that we're in a relatively rural Midwestern town between the three of us? I'm not. No, nah, you're. I mean, you're rel- I mean, you're not in. A, you're not in one of the big five cities. No, um, but there was. I think there were, there was three cases in Cincinnati already. I think, but it's northern Cincinnati up by Westchester, so it's like forty minutes from me. But pretty close. So you've definitely been the closest. Mm-hmm. If you're coughing, next we don't know time. that. We don't know that. Well, that's true, but you're the closest confirmed that we know. Correct. Of. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, if you're coughing next week or have a fever, I want to make you breathe through a Lysol cloth all day. <laughs> I mean, I, hopefully I won't come if I'm if I'm sick. Um, I don't know. The, the lure of playing whales one more time might be too great. That's true. They might cancel uh might cancel Nats, and then I, it's my last chance, my last two rounds. Mm-hmm. So, all right, wouldn't Tyler. That be sad? Tyler, final thoughts. Um, I'm kind of excited about this plus eight action total team. I'm gonna look at that. That seems cool. Uh, um, yeah, I just think there's there's enough in jail of you that I'm I'm at least interested. I don't think it's gonna. I don't think it will be as bad as Rebirth. How about that? That's my final thought. JLU. Mm. Not as bad as, as, as Rebirth. <laughs> or Teen Titans. It'll be, a, it'll be above those two. That's all Teen I can Titan, confirm. Teen Titans had uh, uh, team Brother bases. Voodoo. Oh. Brother Voodoo was an amazing Spider-Man. Okay, I don't know anything from that. <laughs> it'll be better than Rebirth. That's all I'm saying. Right. Better than Joker's Wild? I've always liked Joker's Wild. Yeah, yeah Joker's I, Wild has some good stuff in it. I'm in the minority, I think, but yeah. All right, final thoughts. Wash your hands. Keep an eye out for more of these JLU previews. And as always, thanks for listening to Clickstoff today. We'll talk to you all next time. See you. Later.